Alright, hello everyone, welcome to the channel, this is Hollow Warden and today we're going to talk about Varangian Hero, Varangian Hero, or whatever you want to call it. The new hero that's already here and published and you can have the early access to her by buying her. I'm not going to buy, <laughs> pay money, I'm going to pay it in steel. And today we're going to talk about her movesets, everything. The punishes, the basic movesets, the mix-ups, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some movesets that I like think is nice to do with her. She's so simple. She's like she has nothing much to like play with, and very simple and effective. Don't get me wrong. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. If you enjoyed it. Be sure to tell me what do you think about this hero and be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's do it. Alright, the basics. Varangian hero, this hero, has only two chains. Like uh, the second the second attack will end your chain. So for example you do double light, end of the chain, double heavy, end of the chain, light, heavy, end of the chain. Heavy, light, end of the chain. She has the bash that can you you can follow it up with a light. You can delay the bash. You see, you can instantly go for it, or you can delay it a little bit. That's nice. Just like BP and Centurion's kick, Legion kick. And the other punish that you can do is after a bash, you do the zone attack for more damage. And be mindful of that, the light will be the chain starter, also the zone attack will be the chain starter as well. She has her zone attack, which is 600 milliseconds, it's not that fast, so be careful on doing it. And the animation kind of gives it away, so be careful on that as well. And it's a chain starter, so that's good to know. Especially on the parries, you can go for the zone and for a chain starter. Now, let's uh, talk about the full guard. It's just like Aramusha's full guard. You can't permanently hold it. You just It's just one tap. But it stays there for a good amount of time, so it's a very generous one. And it will counter any attack that comes towards it, unless it's an unblockable or a guard break or a bash. She has the dodge attacks on three sides. Sides, and dash forward. The dash forward is 300 milliseconds, just like uh, Berserker's dash forward light. It's so fast. It's a very, a very good opener, but unfortunately she doesn't have the dash forward heavy. So uh, you need to be careful because it, I, would, I would wait for it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I would wait for it. But it's a very good... Uh, Gap closer if you want to instantly close, get close to your opponent. It's a very good tool, it's fast, but it's risky. Also, she has the running attack. That's uh, like fast enough to be honest. You can kind of do it and you can chain it as well. So it's viable, it's a viable option. All right, now let's let's talk about some uh, like more complicated. I mean, it's not complicated, but let's talk about like not basic stuffs. You see me doing lights, and my shield lightens up, sh gets shiny, and like white. So that means uh, she has a crushing counter property on all sides. And you see the, sh the, uh, the shield actually shines for a long time, so it's a very like generous window of uh, crushing countering. So if you even go for it a little bit sooner, you still can crush and counter the attack. That's, that's, that's very good to know. Also, you saw me, uh, you saw my opponent block my lights, but I still can continue my chains. So it's an enhanced uh, light, both of them. So you kind of can light a spam your opponent, at least you get the chip damage, and the only thing that you worry about is that they're going to <laughs> parry it. So that's very good to know. Also, also, you see 
you have the Tiandi uh, dodge attack crushing counter as well. I'm not performing. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> On all sides, actually, the sides are a little bit harder to uh, perform. I need to do it very soon. Oh my god, it, it's hard to tell you guys on the sides, but you can't uh, do it on the dash forward. You need to be, you need to time it a little bit, so it's not that easy. I don't know. Yeah, you need to have a little bit of practice with it. But yeah, it has uh, the superior block on the dodge attacks, so you can kind of crush encounter, just like Tiandi that has crush encounter on the dodge lights. So that's useful, just like BP that has the dash forward heavy, you can do it on all sides, which is very nice, very, very nice. Alright, now the Oathkeeper move, uh, let's talk about some, uh, let's talk about some more advanced stuffs that you can do with it. You can cancel your heavies with this move. Fun, isn't it? Also, you can do this. Yeah, also the unblockable. Any heavy. So, for example, your opponent goes for a crush encounter, you go for this one. Or, you know your opponent is going to light, and uh, like uh, option select kinda your uh, unblockable, like interrupt your unblockable, because the top in uh, unblockable is interruptible. Because if they mash on light after, like you do a light, they're still in recovery, but they can uh, do the light after that. It's uh, it's not that fast to land before they interrupt you. So to counter that, you do this, but not on the sides. The sides are uh, faster, so you can trade with them at least, but still. So yeah, that's very nice. Another thing is you can cancel any of your recovery, not all of them. For example, if you do a bash, See, you can't do it. So, or you with the bash, you can't do it. Or the headbutt that I'm going to talk about very soon, you can't uh, recover from it. Like this, you can't do this. You can't. You see how late it came out. But other attacks, you immediately can recover from it. So if they kind of dodge attack it or anything, you can counter it. Even in the Dominion, in this move, you, you can immediately go for it and prevent other guys to interrupt your attacks. So that's very good to know, especially this move in Dominion. Uh, know that one. And uh, yeah, that's it for uh, the Oathbreaker. Let's talk about the Unblockable. The Unblockable, as you see, it will stun your opponent for a fairly short amount of time it's not very like broken in dominions like if you guys want to say oh it's very broken dominion it will stun luck you for a long time no it's not going to stun luck you i think it's only 100 ms this stun luck as far as i remember but what do you get out of this small delay that you get you either go for a headbutt Or nothing. But after that you can guard break. So the headbutt is on uh, reactable. So it doesn't matter who's against you. They can't react to it. They have to guess it. And by guessing means you can dodge it. You can dodge the headbutt. Or dodge attack it. But to counter that you can just easily do nothing. And immediately go for the guard break. But the dodge attacks, you can't counter it. The only thing that you can counter is uh, the fact that you can wait for your opponent to do the dodge attack. Or maybe if the dodge attack is fast enough, you can go for the full guard. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I need to experiment more on that one. Another thing that you can do, you can cancel it with a dodge. So you can cancel it with two types of uh, movesets moves one oathbreaker second the dutch that's it for unblockables and yeah also for the unblockables something that i like to do 
I need to put it into the stops that I like to do in the end of the video, but I'm going to show you because it's uh, in the category of <laughs> unblockables. After the un unblockable, you can go for a dash forward light or a dodge attack. Dodge attack is not going to be that fast, so... But the dash forward light... Not gonna lie, it's fast. <laughs> but they still can block or parry it, so... Be careful, they, they're going to block it most of the time, especially on the first days of the release, because they don't know the hero much. But don't spam it, because they're going to wait for it, okay? But it's a very good chain starter, at least, because you can still go for it. Go for the chain, uh, in-chain unblockables, or even lights, so, like, the lights. Alright, a quick side note here is that you can soft faint the unblockable heavies with... A guard break so you don't need to cancel the attack and go for the guard break that will save up so many stamina uh, try to go for it but you can't soften the raw heavies so only the chained heavies that are unblockable can be softened with a guard break okay now let's talk about uh, the punishes on a guard break you only get the side heavy nothing much easy as that like other heroes don't go for the top heavy because it's too fast. If I uh, I, di I didn't uh, say the bot to block only parry, but if the bot is about to parry it or block it, they can. They can't parry it to be honest, but they can block it. See if the bot can't parry it. Even the bot that has zero latency and is in front of me, but they can block it. All right, if you're next to a wall and you get a guard break, definitely go for a wall splat because you get the top heavy out of it. 27 damage, that's a lot of damage. That's very nice. On the heavies, you get the zone attack for more damage or the light. Nothing much. You can actually do the... Bash, but the bash does not deal stamina damage, so that's kind of fancy stuff. If you want to ledge someone, you can do use the bash for this purpose. For light parries, you get the top heavy. I did it too soon. You get the top heavy for more damage. And don't go for the side, side heavy, so yeah, that's it. And it's a chain starter. Oh my god. The second light, I, I just... Uh, like, if you do it... If you block the first one... Let, let me show you. You see, the parry window is so smart. So small. Because uh, I'm in a hit stun. So, you need to be careful. But you can still parry the second one. Let me try. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Let's go. All right, now for the punish of the Oathbreaker, the full guard. You have four options. You either do a light, bash that wall splash. See how much farther you can uh, you can <laughs> you can send your enemy. So it's a very good ledging tool as well. And you have the zone, and you have the heavy that you can continue your chain with. The most damage in duels, I'd go for the heavy, or if you're in front of a wall and your opponent is going to get wall splatted, just go for the top, uh, just go for the bash and get a top heavy that deals 27 damage. And it's a chain starter again, because you did a raw heavy, you can do go for the unblockable in the chain. But the real power is that you see your enemy stuns, get stunned for a little bit. If other players, more players, attack you and you block them, for example, you block three people, this stun duration will last longer. So you have the time to change in between your opponent, like switch to the other guy that has lower HP and deal that sweet light damage that deals 14 damage for for quick kill 
The light is actually like only viable in Dominion. Also the zone attack. Zone attack has a very long and wide trajectory. So you can just easily uh, hit multiple enemies with your attack. Let me show you. You see? The, the trajectory is very good. Although I don't think on your right and uh, uh, definitely your behind will get hit. I don't know that for sure. But like if the person is like on your north east for example <laughs> they might get hell hurt but let's uh, let's let's uh, let's see what those dominion players can say in the comments about that one so very useful tool especially if your opponent like tries to dodge attack you <laughs> you you can cancel your recoveries with this so very useful tool and fun but just like Aramusha, be careful, you can't hold it for long. You just uh, See, I'm holding it, but you can't, see? Now, for the Out of Stamina Punish, I tried everything. Even the Out of Stamina uh, Parry Punish. The only thing that you can get is, the uh, if you want the most damage, is the zone and the follow-up top heavy. Not the side heavies, the top heavy only deals 29 damage. The side heavies, unblockable heavies, deal 27 damage. Or you can go for a top light or side light, anything, and a top unblockable. Just just go for top unblockable, okay? That deals the most damage. But you can go for the side lights or anything you want. Or you can do something else for be more fancy. See, 27, you can't do that. Or for the fancy, fancy stuff, you can do the dash forward light and go for the top unblockable, just like you did a light, it deals 12 damage. And for out of stamina, you can't do the top heavy, you can't, you see. For out of stamina, still, light, top unblockable, or for most damage, zone unblockable, for being fancy, you can do that as well. So yeah, she's she's very simple. She doesn't have so much complicated stuffs. All right, now for the final part, I'm trying to like do some weird stuffs <laughs> that you guys might like get some inspiration from it and build your own uh, Varangian guard. I, that the name is so hard. Varangian guard uh, mix-ups for your own. So let's try. I like the bash a lot. You go for it sometimes. Go for this. Move forward empty for more. Don't cancel it. Go for the go for the uh, soft faint. You can finish it. See? So, yeah, the moves are... <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, you can't do much stops with her. She is more defensive because she's a heavy, of course. She, uh, you need to play more defensive, but she has the offense there, you know, there, here and there. So, not that bad, but still, not that great either. See, it's, the, the side dodge is so slow. Don't do it. But the top is nice. And you can do the light to finish it up. So, these are the moves of this hero. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys in the next video. It was very simple. It's a very simple hero. You can uh, like 
plug and play. <laughs> she, she's one uh, one of those heroes that you can just instantly learn how to play with her. The the full guard might be a little bit tricky, but not that tricky to be honest. Like it's it gives you a lot of time to punish your opponent, especially on crushing counters. Yeah, they give you a lot of time. So. See you guys in the next video. Tell me in the comment what do you think about this hero. Bye.